welcome back. Today, we're going to be naming polynomials. We're doing the CUDA software algebra one worksheet. So, we're going to name each polynomial by its degree and the number of terms it has. Number one, it says 2p to the fourth plus p cubed. So, I made a little, little bitty slideshow to help you a bit. This is degree. So, if the degree is 1, then it's linear. If the degree is 2, then it's quadratic. If the degree is 3, then it's cubic. 4, it's quartic. 5, it's quintic. And then 6, so 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever, it's that number degree. And for the terms, if it has just a number, it's a constant. If it has one, if it has one term with the variable, it's a monomial. If it has two, it's a binomial. Three, trinomial. Four, it's a blank polynomial. It's a polynomial with blank terms. We always name them by, we always name polynomials by their terms first, then, Yes, then the degree. So, first is degree. Actually, you know, I'll we'll take this. We'll put this over here. We we'll take this, delete this. There. So, our degree is first, then our constant. So, number one, it's saying 2p to the fourth plus p cubed. So since we name it by the degree first, then the number of terms, <coughs> text box right here. So what's the highest degree? If it's a monomial, the highest degree, you add all the variables up, the degree of the variables. So this one, the highest degree is four. And four, looking back, it is quartic. So it's gonna be a quartic, And it, how many terms does it have? If it has two terms, yes, it does have two terms, so it's going to be a binomial. So our answer is quartic binomial. Now let's go on to number two. It looks like we have negative 10a. Same thing, we name it by the degree. In this case, a degree is one, which is a to the first. If the degree is one, then it's gonna be a monomial. And you have a constant here, coefficient. So it's gonna be a first degree monomial or a constant or you can call it yeah it's a constant so a constant monomial that is the solution for number two for number three same thing we have 2x squared so, it's a constant, first of all. Nope. I'm just kidding. So, the degree is 2. So, when a degree is 2, it's a quadratic. Anything degree of 2, just remember as quadratic. Quadratic, and it has one term, 2x squared. So, it's a monomial. So our solution in number three is quadratic monomial. Number four, we have negative 10k squared plus seven. Let's name it by a degree first. Since our degree is two, it's a quadratic. And how many terms does it have? It has two terms, negative 10k squared and seven. And when it has two terms, it's a binomial. So our solution number four is quadratic binomial. 
Number five, we have negative five n to the fourth plus 10 n minus 10. Our highest degree is four. Looking back at our slideshow, if it has the degree is four, it's quartic. And how many terms does it have? It has three terms. And when it has three terms, it's a trinomial. So our solution number five is quartic trinomial. Number six, we have negative 6a to the fourth plus 10a cubed. Our highest degree is four. So it's a quartic and it has two terms. So it's a quartic binomial. Number seven, the highest degree is one. So it's a constant. How many terms? It has one term. So it's a constant monomial or monomile, whatever you want to pronounce it. Number eight, it's one. And the degree is one. It's just a constant. And see here how many terms it has one. So this is just a constant. Or let me go back, look. Yeah, or I can call it, I usually just call it constant, but you can call it as a constant monomial since it has one term. Number nine, we have negative nine n plus 10. The highest degree is one, so it's a constant. Nope, it's linear. Degree one is linear. So linear, and it has two terms. So it's a binomial, linear binomial. Number 10, we have five a squared minus six a. So same thing, our highest degree is two. So it's a quadratic and two terms means it's a binomial. All right, number 11, we have 8p to the fifth minus 5p cubed plus 2p squared minus 7. Our highest degree is a 5, so 5 is quintic and it has four terms. When it has four terms, it's a it's a whatever polynomial with that many terms. So it's a quintic polynomial with how many terms? Four terms. Or if you want, you can call it a fifth degree polynomial with four terms. They're still the same. Number 12. We have negative 7n to the 7th plus 7n to the 4th. So here, our highest degree is 7. So you don't call that anything. We don't have that yet. So it's a 7th degree binomial since it has two terms. Number 13. We have negative 8n to the 4th plus 5n cubed minus 2n squared minus 8n. So our highest degree is 4, so it's quartic, and has four terms, so it's a quartic polynomial with four terms. That's our solution number 13. Number 14, we have 9v to the 7th plus 7v to the sixth, plus 4v cubed, minus one. So our highest degree is seven, 
So again, it's going to be a seventh degree. It has four terms. So it's a seventh degree polynomial with four terms. That was solution in number 14. Number 15, we have 9x squared plus 3x. So our highest degree is 2, so it's a quadratic, and it has two terms, so it's a binomial. That's our solution in 15. 16, we have negative 6. Our degree is 1, so it's constant. It's literally just a constant. You can just leave it like this, or you can put constant monomial, since it's one term. Number 17, we have negative 10k to the fourth plus k squared minus k. So our highest degree is 4, so it's a quartic, plus 3 terms total, which is trinomial. So our solution number 17 is a quartic trinomial. Number 18, we have 8a plus 1. Our highest degree is 1. So it's linear with the variable. It has a variable, so it's linear. And it has two terms. That means it's a binomial. So it's linear binomial. Number 19, we have 9r to the 6 minus 8. It's the six degrees the highest. We don't have any name for that, so we just put six degree. And it's a binomial. Because it has two terms. Number 20, we have 9n to the fifth minus 8n cubed. Our highest degree is a five, so that means it's a quintic. Or you can put fifth degree poly fifth degree. And it has two terms, so two terms means it's a binomial. Number 21, we have 2n to the fifth, and the highest degree is 5, so it's a six, it's a, it's a quintic, and it has one term, 2n to the fifth, monomial. Quintic monomial. Number 22, we have negative 10x to the fifth. Same thing here. It's a fifth or quintic monomial. It has one term. Number 23, we have 4x minus 9x squared plus 4x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. So our highest degree is a 4, which means it's quartic, and has four terms. So it's a quartic polynomial with four terms. And that's a solution in number 23. Number 24, we have 10 plus 8x. So our highest degree is x to the first, or 1 which makes it linear and it has two terms so it's a binomial linear binomial number 25 we have negative 4 minus 2a squared plus 8a our highest degree is 2 so it's quadratic with three terms it's trinomial Number 26, we have 4b to the 6 plus 5b to the 5th plus b to the 4th. Our highest degree is 6, so it's a 6th degree with 3 terms equals a trinomial. 6th degree trinomial. Number 27, the highest degree is 1, but it's just a constant. With 1 term, it's a monomial. Or just constant if you want to leave it like that. Number 28, 
we have 7n to the 5th plus 10n to the 4th minus 3n plus 10n to the 7th. Our highest degree is a 7, so it's 7 degree polynomial, and it has 4 terms. Before we move on to the last two problems of this worksheet, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have other helpful math videos and stuff there that will help you. All likes and subscriptions are very helpful and appreciated. Number 29, we have four. So there's, it's just a constant or just a number with no variable and it has one term which means it's a monomial or monomial, whatever. And we move on to the last problem, number 30. Before we, we do this problem, please consider subscribing. So we have 4r to the 6 minus 3r squared minus 8r to the 4th. Our highest degree is a 6. So it's a 6th degree. Three terms. It has three terms, which makes it a trinomial. That is our solution in the last problem of this entire worksheet. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will do more stuff with polynomials. Thank you. I hope this helped. And peace out. Have a great day.